Okay, this video is really just a quick set of questions. Maybe one of you guys can figure this out. I'm having a brain fart, maybe. That happens to me on certain very particular subjects. This is one of them. What I'm trying to do is verify that we are in the correct year um, versus the crucifixion. Having done the Patu, I'm showing what Paul's doing. It's pretty clear to me that we're in the right, um, we got the right dates. It's just kind of weird how the Roman AUC calendar ends up having the same three year variance that we have with ours. And I have to wonder if, you know, heaven wasn't chuckling about that in eternity past with the result that in the year 4136 from Adam, uh, that's the year that Christ actually dies, which is seven years prior to when he should have died, so that he would have been allotted the same 40 years as uh, David. He was 33, that's because in our three-year hiccup, um, we have to say that Christ was born at the end of 4 BC, which is equivalent to 3 BC. And yes, he was born on what we call December 25. That was the Saturnalia festival. Paul makes a point about that by using the Greek version of Saturnalia, Greek god Kronos in Galatians 4.4. 4. It's a joke. You have to understand the myth about Kronos, a.k.a. Saturn, to, uh, to get the joke that Paul's making in Galatians 4.4 about pregnancy. Anyway, the point is, is that Christ dies in what we call 30 A.D., and you can't just shift it up three years unless you shift up the entire timeline from Adam forward three years. And people don't do that. So... You have to be careful about the interval of years, which I already showed on page 135 of Ephesians 1 reparsed. So far, so good. But, you know, auditing means that you check a, a thing, an idea, 16 ways to Christmas. Because you never know if you've got some errors that are self-canceling. So it looks like you're right, but you're not. So what I'm trying to do is compare it to the year we're in now and then compare it to the day of the week because we know he died on Wednesday, okay? He died on Wednesday, which should have been the true Passover of 30 AD. Well, you can count how many days that was if you know the vernal equinox of 30 AD. And then what you do is from the vernal equinox, you count 14 days, all right? So maybe we got the vernal equinox that we're considering what day it was wrong. And that's the other hickey in this thing. But we do plot vernal equinoxes going back that far and how accurate they are. I, I, don't, I don't really know, but I'm going to pretend that they are for the sake of this experiment. Okay, so this is the year of Adam in which he died. Now, if you've downloaded my genius.xls, you can go to view custom views and you'll get a little pop-up like this okay and I have made snapshots so that you don't you can more easily navigate the calendar unfortunately dear old um, Excel and this will work in later versions of Excel 2 I'm using Excel 202 um, Excel will not alphabetize these so it's going by which one is the most frequent, which one is the last used or most frequently used, and it puts it up at the top. But you'll notice that one of them is 20th century, okay? And then you say show. And what it does is it will reformulate and take you down to the 20th century, which is, yeah, you know, roughly year 6,000 here, but it really, because of the 1050s, okay? we enter the 1050 um, we enter the 1050 from his death in 6136 from his birth of course is 33 years prior alright but we are now at um, the beginning of year 6119 you with me on that Okay, so now we go back, and I've already put that little, this thing, view, 
view, custom views. You can take this in the customize menu and just move it up here. So what I did was this. Okay, this. Well, I'll do it again for your sake. We go back to when Christ died. Okay, and that's where it says Christ unified time. Except you're not seeing it here. Where is it? There we go. Right here. Christ unifies and resets time is where we were. So take a note. Where we are here is that's 2007, but we're 2013. So at the, we're at the beginning of 6119 from Adam right now. Okay? In Jewish time, that's the end of 6118 because the vernal equinox hasn't occurred yet. So now I want to go back. So Christ unifies and resets time. And we want to look at how many years have transpired between now and then which are divisible by 8 because the same day of the week on which he died theoretically would be every 8th year in 6120 that's 200 I think it was 245 248 248 times 8 is 1984 plus 4136 would be 6120. So in 6120, which would be the beginning of next year, supposedly the days of the week would be the same. Okay? Which means that this year, beginning in this year, the date which would be the anniversary of his actual death would be falling one day short of the actual day, so it should be a Tuesday, okay? Because you've got year one, Monday through Sunday, okay? Or Sunday through, using Jewish time, Sunday through Saturday. Year two would begin on the following day, so whereas year one began on a Sunday, okay? Year two would begin on a Sunday because it's the eighth day. You with me on that? So we should get a fix on how many years have transpired since the cross as a way to audit, you know, if there's really a, a variance or not, by the fact that the day of the week ought to be the same. Okay? So beginning next year, the exact anniversary of his, de of his death would be on the same day of the week. You with me on that? that? Logically, that makes sense so far. But here's why I start having my brain fart. We use leap years. I think Julius Caesar also used leap years in his calendar. The question is, do our leap years really work the same as theirs, number one? If they do, wouldn't that help me if I'm being too stupid, okay? Wouldn't that mean that it wouldn't matter about the leap years if we're using the same calendar basis he used? Wouldn't it still be the same day of the week every eighth year? All right. And then the second question in my mind is, um, is there some other issue or reason? Oh, I know. The, the equinox. The equinox has a three-day drift. Okay, so am I having a brain fart or would it always be true that no matter what day of the year the equinox fell on, it's still the anniversary of the prior equinox? So does that mean that it would still be the same day of the week? You see what I'm getting at? Every eighth year should be the same day of the week as eight years prior. But what would muck that up so it wouldn't be true? Because what I'm trying to get at is can we prove exactly what year we're in post-cross given all the changes we've had to our own Western calendar? I mean, Pope Gregory made some changes to the calendar where he cut off 10 days. So that's why now December 25th is equal to December 15th. Then after him, there were some changes made in Britain. I want to say that was in the 1700s, late 1700s. I don't re quite remember. Okay, there were calendar changes made. 
do those calendar changes obviate this simple calculation? Can we truly just count the number of years difference okay, between now and then and use a day of the week calculation to audit the idea okay about what year we're in versus what year we should be in okay because there's there's a lot of debate on the internet about well are we really in the year 2013 now and there there are some some possible good arguments to say that we're not okay so that's what I'm trying to ferret out I'm thinking and I might be wrong because I have a brain fart here if we just were able to, to multiply or get a divisor to a year that's divisible by 8 from the year he died which is 6120 okay that's 200 and was it, what did I say 248 times 8 times 8 Okay, 1984 years. We're 1984 years away from 4136. So we add 4136 to it. And that's 6120, the beginning of 2014. Which day of the, you know, which day of his crucifixion, the anniversary of that, measured as 14 days from the vernal equinox, ought to be the same day of the week as Wednesday, the day he died, per scripture. So, is my idea sound? And if not, tell me where, because I've been trying to figure this out now for a long time, and obviously I can't do it alone. Thanks a lot for your help. Bye-bye.